Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warframe Weapon Builds. Now, we will be going into uh, Warframe Builds and the Companion Builds later on. For right now, we're going to be doing on Weapons. I'll be mixing it up uh, for right now. I go as I can build them up uh, as I can go. But for today, we're going to take a look at the Bolter Prime. Now, the Bolter Prime is... Um, it's not, its stats are not the greatest. It's a 5.0 critical chance, its critical multiplier is normal, 10% status chance, and it is a puncture based weapon. So, it, it's not the greatest. If you're wanting to do anything with this gun, it would have to be a status build, which is precisely what I've done with this gun. Now, uh, again, I will not be doing my builds. Do not include Riven. Um, All systems nominal. You don't need to thank me. Piss off. Thank you. Uh, this my builds do not include Riven mods, as they are way too random. And I will always be doing the strongest variant of the gun that I am doing. Now, actually, real quick before we go into the build, the Bolter series has three variants. It's normal counterpart, it's prime, and actually the Telus Bolter, which in differentiation from the Bolter Prime to the Bolt to the Telus Bolter, which can be can be uh, got from the Arbiters of Hexes. Um, all of its stats are less than the Bolter Prime, but its clip size is bigger by thirty. Now the difference between these two is that while the Telus Bolter's stats are lower, minus the clip size, it is a Syndicate weapon. Now, the reason why I do not have a build on the Syndicate weapon is be or the Telus Bolter is because it again its stats are lower. However, the reason why I am well through a request, of course, if you guys would like me to, I will still do a build on the Telus Bolter. Um, but the reason why it is a consideration um, is because it is a syndicate weapon. If any of you know anything about Warframe, or if you, even if you don't, uh, here's tips. Uh, anything that is a syndicate weapon or a mod, a syndicate mod to be put on a normal weapon, it will ac accumulate affinity as you get kills with that weapon as long as that syndicate mod is equipped or as long as you have that getting kills with the syndicate weapon itself such as the Telus Bolter. Once it gets an overflow of affinity from the kills you have gotten it will explode depending upon what syndicate you are uh, what syndicate that that weapon is from will depend on what it's doing. Um, Perrin and Arbiters of Hexes when they explode, all of them give damage when they explode. They do a lot of amount of damage to anything around you, but each of them have their own special unique uh, things. Uh, I believe Red Veil and Steel Meridian give armor. Arbiters of Hexes and Perrin give um, energy back. And Suda and Nuloka give health. I do not quote me on that uh, because I don't know for sure. I'm just going by a, a, a fairly good guess, okay. A fairly good guess, but you get the you get the point. So anyway, on with the bolter, okay. This is 60 clip automatic assault rifle that is status based. It is a three form of build. Let us begin. Primed cryo rounds. This is again a primed mod. You get it from Borrow Key tier, okay. There is a very handful, select few that you get from the daily tribute. If you do not have the primed, again, it will the its normal counterpart will work just as well. Split chamber, I call this mandatory because multi shot. I always think multi shot is mandatory because it does not up your base damage, but rather your damage output because it multiplies how much projectiles you shoot out per bullet or per ammo rather without consuming ammo. High Voltage gives electricity and status chance. It's a Nightmare Elemental mod. Um, not really that hard to get, uh, but rather it is harder to farm for. Um, you can trade uh, for, for it from other people. Um, it can be traded out with any of the other... Um, lost my train of thought. 
Sons of bitch. Elemental status weapons. Status weapons. Status mods. If I could. E English. None's better at the night. <laughs> Malignant force and thermite rounds. I already have all those on there. Simply because I'm trying to get the status chance as high as possible. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because when you shoot a bullet. When that has, say, fire damage on it. Okay, if we just had fire damage on here, nothing else, and its status chance was still 10. We fire a bullet, it will still do the damage of the fire and its normal puncture base damage in that bullet. But its status chance gives it that chance to explode in flames. Okay, it, it, you got fire on the bolter. You shoot a bullet, it does both the fire damage and the, and the puncture damage innately, passively. Okay, the status chance allows um, the element to proc. If it's gas, it will, well, let's use the four base. Electricity, it will stun them. If it's poison, it will poison their health. If it's fire, they'll burst out in flames. And if it's ice, it'll slow them. Okay, status chance does not, the, only, the status chance it allows you to get actual procs with your element. Okay, stuff like that. Pearson Caliber, this is part of the Puncture set. This is either from Borrow Key Tier or from an event mod. I cannot remember which. I am very sorry. I just know it's from one of those two. It's either an event mod from the set or it's either um, Borrow Key Tier. Serration, uh, this is mandatory. Uh, on the Pearson Caliber, again, you can replace it with a um, Elemental honestly. Uh, heavy Caliber. This is a Corrupted Mod gotten from Delert Vaults. Okay. Using Dragon Keys and all that. Gives damage but takes away accuracy. And this gun has very good accuracy. Even on its performance has very good accuracy. And Assault Rifles in this game is not hard to control. Especially if you're using keyboard and mouse. So the accuracy really doesn't do jack shite to you honestly so the damage is definitely plus this is a mandatory mod i believe um again this um this gun does not have very good stats to begin with um it, the bolter is vaulted so which vaulted means you cannot farm for it at all the only way you can get a hold of it is by trading for it with other players okay so that being said let's go test it out alrighty and we're here alright so let's go and begin with a butcher and have the level set up to 30 right off the bat let's go and simulate and see what I what, what, what our little bolter dude can do okay so one shot does very nicely especially to the head and the bolter actually has an innate passive just like any bow you when you get kills with it it pins the corpses to whatever it, it hits which is kind of hilarious because it ragdolls them all right let's up that uh let's up the level let's do 75 right off the bat we're not going to waste any time here let's see what it does Ooh, one shot to the head. Excellent. Excellent. And you notice how I shot only one bullet, but two bullets came out. That's because of the multi-shot. This is the reason why um, I say multi-shot is mandatory. Because the second bullet that I shot out didn't cost me any ammo, but does just as much damage as the bullet that did cost ammo. Alright, so let's replace that with an eczema. Same level, 75. Let's try this. Oop. Okay, so about seven bullets takes out an axis of level 75. But that is a normal Xmas. Let's try a heavy at level 75. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Wrong damn button! Give me this. Get, I, I said give me this. Yes, thank you. Okay. Alrighty, let's try that again. Uh, 
Okay, so almost the whole clip for to the head, aimed at the head anyways. I don't know how many of those were, were actually hits. Um, were actually hits to the headshot. Um, so level 70 heavy gunners, level 75 heavy gunners, it took almost the whole clip. So that kind of makes me fearful of what the Eximus will do. Kind of makes me fearful of what the Eximus will do. Okay. This is a heavy gunner Xmas. Oh, jeez. An entire clip just brought it down to two-thirds of its health. Okay. So, so far it's taken two clips. There it goes. Okay, so a heavy gunner Xmas level 75. Okay, now remember this gun is a puncture based weapon. Puncture damage does wonders against armor, which aka the Grenier. So it takes two and a half clips to bring down a level 75 heavy gunner Xmas with the whole thing aimed at its head. Okay, this is not boding well. Not boding well for it. Let's see how it does against the corpus. Let's try... Let's try a crewman, Eximus. Level 75 right off the bat. Uh, this is puncture. Does not do the greatest against the shields. But I could also be wrong. <laughs> so it does really good against the corpus, level 75. Let's try one of their heavier ones. Uh, let's try a corpus crew, Eximus. Simulate. These are all level 75, by the way. Okay, so it does pretty good. I think the reason why they're why it's doing better against Corpus than um, than um, the Grenier is because the Corpus only have a little bit of shields. Once you break that, they're all flesh, and they don't have any armor whatsoever. So once you break their shields, they're done. They're toast. They're goners. They are dead in the ground. Grenier, you have to fight their armor all the way through their health bar. Their entire health bar is armor. So, Grenier are kind of a pain in the ass to do. Okay. Uh, let's try an Ancient Healer Xmas level 75. Ancient Healer's Infestation does not have any armor whatsoever or shields. They are pure health. Pure health. Okay, so for the infestation, a, a healer, ancient healer, Eximus, level 75, took almost an entire clip. Almost. So, I'd say, if you're going against infestation, you could maybe bring this up to about a level 80, maybe 90 on the infestation, maybe 100 on the corpus, but don't expect to go any further than 75 on the Grenier. On, on heavies, anyway. For light ones, let's do a, a Butcher Eximus, which is a light Eximus. And let's actually set that up to 100. Okay, so about 10 bullets, because the first 10 I freaking missed like an idiot. <laughs> So, 10 bullets, it's still doing pretty good. Let's actually up the settings a bit. Let's just go max that shit out right off the bat. Okay, so 150 Eximus, okay, um, took about half the clip. Okay, so its fall off point is about. 150 on Grenier units um, that are Eximuses, that are normals. Heavies like Bombards and Heavy Gunners that are Eximuses at level 75 to 80 is actually its fall off point for that. Uh, corpus units uh, seem to have no problems eating through them all the way up to level 100. And Ancients all the way up to 75. Let's actually try a level 100. Ancient Xmas. The reason why I'm doing Ancient Healer Xmas is because they are actually the tankiest in um, the healer or in the um, 
infested um, faction, more or less, and I have this set up to 150. So let's just try 100. There we go. And I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure. Um, I just know they seem to be the tankiest to kill. Let's reload. Okay, so infested at level 100 seemed to be really good. It does actually more damage on status when the actual elements proc with the status weapon. Okay, um, we're just working our way up. Oh, almost took an entire clip. There we go. It took a little over one whole clip to take out an infested healer. An infested ancient healer, Eximus, at level 100. Corpus at level 150. And ancient healers at level 150. Um, normal Grenier's at 150. Um, yeah, I'd say this game is uh, the early game. This gun is actually a late game gun. Surprisingly, despite its stats not being that good, this build actually allows it to go into the late game, which is surprisingly not what I expected from this gun. Uh, this is actually very surprising. Um, again, if you can get a very good ribbon for this mod, or really good ribbon for this gun, it will probably easily put it into the late game permanently. Definitely. So, this is the Bolter Prime. Definitely um, a late mid to mid late kind of game. Like level 80 to 120 with very little issues. Unless it's a heavy gunner or a bomb board. Then it seems to have a little bit of damage fall off. Or quite a bit rather. Because it. <laughs> level 75 Heavy Eximus freaking just took two and a half clips to bring down to the head. Anything else? Seems to be able to chew right through. So this is this is a late game gun. Excellent accuracy. Surprisingly very good damage. Excellent uh, range. Good ammo consumption. Excellent ammo reserves. Um, this is a vaulted weapon. You'll have to trade for it from others. So, but yeah. Um, I definitely I definitely like this gun. Um, kind of cool looking too. Honestly. I don't color my guns that much. <laughs> so this is what it normally looks like. So, anyway, this is the Bolter Prime. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button so you get updates on all the more videos I'm doing, whether it be on other games of series or more Warframe weapon and frame builds and companions when I get to them. <laughs> I'm planning on doing one build video for every single piece of gear in this game every single one so on that note i'm going to see all of you in the next one thank you for watching see you later